Hello everyone and welcome back, Beatia. Today we are looking at nylon. Nylon appeared just before World War II. It was actually used in parachutes as an alternative to silk. Not all of us are avid pantyhose wearers, but the other place where we can find nylon all over the show is in activewear. Therefore, I'm wearing my activewear. If you say nylon, your grandmother might think about her stockings, but the modern day gal, such as myself, will probably think about your leggings and your yoga pants. Nylon is found in activewear as well as undergarments especially in ladies bras and panties in the 1950s nylons actually referred to ladies getting new pantyhose so if they said oh look at my new nylons they referred to their new set of pantyhose I'll pop up some pictures and advertisements of what it looked like but a huge company called DuPont actually manufactured the first nylon stockings that women wore Nylon is a very fine, very flexible, strong fabric and it is also a really good windbreaker which makes sense for the parachutes. Stockings are not breathable at all. If you wear them, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you take those pantyhose off at the end of the day and you give the toes a whiff, it's not going to smell good. In other words, your feet can't breathe and the sweat can't escape. This might be new news to those watching that haven't worn stockings before. Just to give you an idea of what nylon looks like in its raw form, think about a plastic rope, you can think about seat belts, um, car seat belts, think about rope, you can think about tents, fishnets, and other types of ropes. The threads are extremely strong. Similar to polyester, if you've missed the episode, I'll link it down below. It is made from crude oil and in the same way, a crude oil mixed with a load of other chemicals is pushed through a device that looks like a shower head. Out of the shower head, small little strings will appear and that gets woven into nylon fibers. I must say, I am quite shocked. I thought that my yoga pants and my stretchy you know, exercise pants are made out of polyester, but I was wrong, it is actually nylon. I cut out all of the little labels inside of my clothes so I couldn't check. So I went on uh, Lululemon's website and I had a look at the exact same and similar um, yoga pants. I was surprised to see that 70 to 80% of this pants composition is made out of nylon. The other 30% is made out of Lycra. Now, although this is an amazing, comfortable pant and I wear it to the gym often, I actually thought that I'll be very comfortable traveling in it. So a few times on an international flight, I tried to wear these because I thought I'll be able to stretch my legs and feel comfortable in my seat. But I didn't take into consideration that it doesn't breathe as well. So I was actually ending up feeling very hot and a bit uncomfortable actually. So next time I'm flying, I won't be wearing these. You can see that this fabric is a very fine fabric and it's very well knitted. This is a high quality example of nylon. The same counts for this gym top and you can see it is highly stretchable. I've had this top for about three years and I wash it almost every single time after I gym and that's probably gross to say on the internet only every other time I don't always sweat um, anyway and it's uh, retained its color very well this jacket was actually bought as a gift and luckily it still has its label inside so I can read to you that this is actually a 90% nylon 10% elastine for the body the hood is 100% nylon the upper panel 100% nylon sleeves 82% nylon side panels 82% nylon lining 100% nylon and then the body is filled with goose down feathers and the hood is filled with polyester. This top is really nice 
for colder weather or when you're exercising outside and you don't want to get wet um, so the nylon will definitely protect your protect you from getting wet and the bag hood is very very comfortable on top of it when it comes to synthetic underwear um, especially when talking about panties i don't like wearing synthetic fibers cotton all the way so just check the underwear that you're buying because a lot of it is made out of nylon or could be made out of nylon and you have to let your girl breathe yeah in terms of pantyhose options i have this small little sock to show you this one is definitely a thicker um, nylon you ca can't see my skin showing through all that much or maybe even at all but the more traditional kind probably looks like this which is a bit more of a sheer look again the fabric is highly stretchable let me actually show you that like highly stretchable but it doesn't breathe let's go into the general pros it is extremely strong it does break the wind it's also really good in items such as the rain jacket that I showed earlier, the light pink one. It is a windbreaker. Think about the light pink top that I showed earlier. It is extremely versatile in terms of what you can do with it, um, not just in clothing, but as I've mentioned, other household items as well. It is water repellent. It is machine washable. But especially if you're washing something such as your stockings, I'd say either do it by hand or you have to put it inside a little protective bag. Let me actually quickly show you what that looks like. These washing bags work really well to make sure that items don't get stretched out or that um, zippers and other things don't get caught into that fabric. Because it's water repellent, it dries very quickly and it is an inexpensive material. The cons, thin nylon and lattice easily. And if you wear stockings, you'll know what I'm talking about. It can be static and it can be irritating on the skin by um, looking at the flight example and it does not breathe. Environmental pros, the clothes do last a really long time. Make sure that you wash them at the correct temperatures. Environmental cons, we've spoken about the microfiber issue in the water in the polyester episode. But again, here we have the same. Every single time we wash any fabric, micro pieces of that fiber will break off and go into the water supply. But because nylon is not biodegradable, it cannot be absorbed by the earth basically, and it will remain in the water, which causes plenty of issues, but more resources um, are linked down below. Toxic chemicals are used in the process of converting the crude oil into pellets and then melting them down into the fibers um, that our clothes are made out of. This is extremely polluting and energy intensive. And as mentioned before, it is not biodegradable. Last comments about nylon. When buying nylon, make sure that you really do like the item and it is something that you will wear. Buying unnecessary things is extremely wasteful, not just to your own pocket, but also to the earth. Also, if you know of any environmentally friendly um, activewear brands, I'd love to know. I haven't done a lot of research, and if you have, please do leave comments down below. I'd love to know. I'm not really keen on um, supporting the nylon industry, so if I have different options um, for buying my activewear, I will definitely do so, and I'll also encourage others to do. So if you know of any, please leave them down below. That is all for this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please be back here tomorrow for the next episode. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. Hit that um, little bell so that you also get notified when I upload. Have a beautiful day. Cheers, guys.